Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I have a haul for you guys. Alright, so this time it's not a book haul, but I do have one of those coming. Um, but this is a Cricut haul. So in my last video, you guys saw that my husband was so amazing and nice enough to get me a mug press, um, a Cricut Maker 3 and the heat press um so but i didn't have anything um to try out the machines with so today we went to the store and we got some things to try out the cricket maker and the mug press with so we got a pack of removable matte vinyl for 23 bucks it was on sale um, I didn't realize it was a removable. I should have yeah, checked it because, um, uh, you know, permanent. But whatever, you know, what is? Um, I got a cup because I printed out from my Cricut Joy a design that I wanted to do um, on this cup for a friend. So then we got him a cup. Should have got a straw to go with it. Um, I got mats because, um, I don't have any mats this size. I have the mats like this. They go for the Cricut Joy, but I don't have mats for the Cricut Maker. So I got a couple mats to go with the Cricut Maker. And I looked around and there wasn't like a specific mat for the Cricut Maker, um, I think all of these mats can be used in, with all um, of the makers. So I got the three pack. Um, and it is a light grip, a standard grip, and a strong grip. And um, all everything for the Crickets today were 40 to 50% off. Uh, some items were 40%, some items were 50% off. So we got a lot for not that much. Uh, what else is in this bag? Oh, <laughs> it's just the receipts in this bag and my son's uh, mask that he left in the car and some painter's tape. So just had to take that out of the bag. Bag had holes in it anyway, so. All right. And then next we got... A case a carrying case for um, for this so this was actually 80% off the uh, carrying cases were 80% off so I got a carrying case for the Cricut and right now my Cricut Joy is actually in a bag that I keep my yarn in um, and I keep my bag in the that my yarn in that particular bag because it is a bag for yarn um, and it even comes with a case where I can put like my crochet hooks or uh, my knitting needles. And I have knitting needles and I don't why because I or don't know why because I don't knit unless it's on a loom. Um, I've always wanted to try knitting, but I haven't. So, but anyway, I wanted to take my Cricut Joy out of my yarn bag and put it in its own bag. So I got the same exact bag for, well, the same exact pattern for um the bag for the cricket joy and i even made sure that it was for the cricket joy before i picked it up and there's the picture of the cricket joy inside of it so now this is gonna make me happier because i get to organize my things a lot better so um yeah i gotta figure out how exactly to put it in there because this looks like Ah, that's why. So, this goes up to where it can flatten. Um, and then it zips all the way around. I was wondering how that worked. I probably should have figured it out before I even left the store. Just in case there's something wrong with it. <laughs> but, it got to figure it out. So, <clears throat> I will have that better organized. Um, and organization is something that I know I need to get better at, especially with me being an educator. And then on top of that, especially with us living in an apartment, um, 
I would much, I would prefer, much rather prefer, um, to have a bunch of bags that are organized sitting everywhere than having things just sit out of a place everywhere. Um, cause it makes it look like it's not organized even though it is organized. So I got my bags. I'm super happy about that because these bags look even better to me personally anyway. They look even better than the bags that I have on uh, my Amazon wish list. So I am super stoked. And we went to Joann's for all of this. So this is all Cricut, um, Cricut stuff from Joann's. Oh my gosh, my mosquito bites are terrible. I've just been scratching and scratching and scratching. And I bruise really easy. And my husband's trying to get me to stop scratching but you can see the mosquito bites and they are literally lifting off my arm and I got one right here as you can see me scratch a couple times in this video see oh my gosh mosquitoes just freaking love me dude my fingers have mosquito bites all over them I even got one like down in there oh can't stand mosquito bites but I also need to just wear my repellent I make my own mosquito repellent and it works great and I just have yet to actually wear it all right anyway they had one more set of cups for me to practice on so I um, decided to get these these are also on sale um, I think I how much did I get these for I know they were on sale because everything we bought today was on sale. Okay, yeah. So, the original price for these are $7 for two of them, which isn't too bad. Um, but because I'm so used to buying mugs from the Dollar Tree, because I don't care what nobody says, the Dollar Tree has a really good sturdy mugs, okay? So, most of the coffee mugs that I make with the, the girl and the the girls on them and the lips on them and the rhinestones and the pearls most of those mugs not all of them but most of those mugs come from the Dollar Tree because they're good mugs um, I have not seen anybody use the Dollar Tree mugs with this um, press so I'm not sure <laughs> if the Dollar Tree mugs work with the press um, probably will experiment on it later, but as of right now, I just wanted to use the mugs that Cricut suggests because they are, um, I believe they are, like they have like that sublimation surface. Is there really a difference? I have no idea, but we'll, we'll find out soon. But anyway, it was, um, two for one and... Um, we also got the last thing of infusible ink for the mug. And I found out today that there is a difference. Um, this is the infusible ink. And let me cover up my face so it can focus. And it says Cricut Mug Press. So there is a difference um, because there's infusible ink for the shirts. This is infusible ink specifically for the mug. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to experiment with this. Um, look up some more videos to see how I can do all of these. Because I'm sure there's also a way for me to use the infusible ink markers with the mugs and the press. And I just need to watch some more videos to see how I can do that. Um, let's see. I got some more tools. This, I think this was like three bucks. Uh, and this one was three bucks as well. So, uh, I'm, it does not hurt to have more than one weeding tool, especially since I can never keep up with the one that I have. I always end up finding it after I need it. Um, and then I have to come back to the project to finish it. Um, and then I have... Um, a bigger one of these um, scrapers so I have the smaller scraper that comes with the Cricut Joy I figured that it was time for me to also get a bigger one doing bigger uh, projects on the Cricut Maker 
and having one of these. I wanted to get the set of tools because there was a set of tools where they all came in like a pack. And it was one of these, one of these, uh, one that looks like um, like a cake scraper almost. Uh, it had one, it had a rolly pin in there and some other stuff. But um, the store was kind of packed and it was asking you to um, go and ask someone at the counter, like a store employee at the counter. And I was like, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. We, we were on a time frame, but not rushing. We just wanted to make sure that we kept our time frame because we kind of turned it into an impromptu um, lunch date, early dinner type of date. Um, so we went and we had an early dinner and then right afterwards I went to a Bible study. So we were just trying to keep up with times to make sure that um, I was, you know, not going to be late. And then I ended up being late anyway because there's a guy parked in back of me. And he wouldn't move. I even told him, like, guy, I have to leave or something. He still would move. So I yelled, like, that much. And he moved. And he apologized. All right. Anywho, um, I never picked up cards for the Cricut Joy. And I've always wanted to try out that feature of making um, cards. So, like... You know, I was about to say index cards. I don't even know why. I was about to say index cards, but like, um, you know, happy birthday cards, get well cards, for no reason cards. You know, I like you. Thanks for being my friend for no reason sort of card. I love you. Thanks for being my husband for no reason sort of cards. So I, I wanted to try that feature out. And so I bought a 12 pack. Of cards and what's crazy is that this 12 pack of cards um, I think had better colors in it than the 10 pack and this was also cheaper like I said everything was on sale but that one was cheaper cheaper um I also got this heat resistant tape it said it was um, compatible with infusible ink that's the reason why I got it because I do have um, heat heat resistant tape I have a brown the color is brown but um, I use that with iron-on and I don't think that the iron-on heat tape is compatible with infusible I don't know I don't know I don't know how people do it I don't know I'm still learning I pretty much learned the basic um, learn how to do the basic stuff to just get something off the ground to be able to learn how to do the basic um, things. And now this this tape and all this other stuff, this infusible ink and all that stuff is like new. So I feel like I can take it to the next step now-ish. So not very great at it. All right, but anyway, we got some black. We got some black for the Cricut Joy, or not Cricut Joy. The Cricut Maker 3. Guys, it's late. I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. I am going to go to bed. After I do another video, I am going to bed. Alright. And then I got red. And then I got... Blink? Okay, yeah. White. I got matte white. Uh, these were buy to get to free. And then I got, is this another? Nope, this is navy. Navy blue. Can't really tell. It looks black. But I promise it's navy blue because this says that it's navy blue. Let's see. I know, it's my lighting. But, yeah. So I got all of that um, for a really decent price. Um, at Joann's what was crazy is that I didn't have to go and venture the store a whole lot so we literally went in got what we needed and came back out um, and then when we saw that they were having a sale we got things that I know I was still gonna need um, 
and that was awesome because none of it was too expensive. So put all of this back over in here. But that was the haul, guys. Thank you. Let me know down in the comments if any of you guys are experts at this. What do you guys do? How did you guys get started? Etc. Etc. Thank you for watching. Bye.